What's up y'all, let's get right to it and talk about some Dragon Ball Fighters or the lack thereof, especially here on the channel lately. It's been pretty inconsistent and that's kind of how I felt about the game lately, just pretty inconsistent. And I think Bandai Namco and Arc System Works uh, have a hand in that. What the fuck is going on with Season 2? Season 2 has been trash. Let's just call it Spade a Spade. Season 2 has been trash. I have not felt that much excitement out of Dragon Ball Fighters in a while now. We started off hot. With uh, at the at the tail end of World Tour, saying, "Yo, Videl, Jiren, this whole trail, the trailer you're looking at right now on screen, it started off hot." Saying Videl and Jiren coming out like the week after the World Tour ended, I believe it was something like that. We had hot things going, excitement was brewing. Like, cool, we got Jiren, we got Videl who turned out pretty well. Then we knew uh, Gogeta and uh, uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly was coming soon as well. As far as the entire season two, then two mystery characters, but then Jiren Videl came out. And after that, it was just super quiet. Super quiet. Like, what's happening next? We don't know. No news at all. No new things come to the game. Uh, they had a balance patch, which is cool. Nice to have a balance patch here and there and again. But that was kind of that. And then all of a sudden, out the blue, we got news for GT Goku, which already was somewhat of a disappointment, to be honest. We already had three Gokus between Goku Blue, uh, Super Saiyan Goku, and Base Goku. And if you want to count Goku Black, which does not count if you know the... Uh, the show and the actual words is Goku Black, and Bardock does not count. It's not another Goku. But anyways, we already had three legit Gokus between base Goku, uh, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and regular Super Saiyan Goku. And then have a fourth one. It's just like, ah, all right, whatever. That was kind of like took the wind out of my sails and a lot of other people's sails as well. And then they had they hyped it around this caricature of Super Saiyan Four being in involved. As far as oh, we got the secret level three from GT Goku. It's a secret. I don't want to tell you what it is yet, it's a secret. Then it turned out to just literally be a few frames of his level three at a certain condition. It's like, come on. And then ever since then, it's been silent again. They're really kind of shooting themselves in the foot. We already had problems uh, late last year as far as uh, them removing the game itself from tournaments around the world as far as the Dragon Ball Fighters being removed and we were wondering then as far as what's going on, are they going to, are they pulling support for the game after this world tour? What is going on? They finally kind of stepped in as far as uh, Harada-san, uh, known from the Tekken world more so, coming in and be like, yo, we got it. There are going to be more Dragon Ball Fighters tournaments involved. Sorry for the mishap. But they never really talked about what that was about. We don't really have details. It's just so much secrecy and just so much silence. Just like, Man, for someone like me, I'm not a pro player, and the, the time it takes to be uh, to be a pro player or to, or to compete in this game at a very high level takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication. I've done my thing as far as putting out combo videos for almost every single character in this game. I know that's kind of the, the meat and potatoes as far as my uh, my views are concerned for Dragon Ball Fighters. I've done my rank play series, but it, it's kind of getting tiresome. Especially since there's not that much excitement for the game and it's just so up in the air as far as what's actually going on. Like, continued support is very important. At least news. Just keep people in the know as far as what's going on. And this is, I don't know, it's been weird. It's been very weird. We have rumors as far as Janemba being the next character, which I'm very excited about him at least. But I just haven't felt excited about playing the game and being uh, uh, putting my investment in time all the way into it to the point of where it's actually necessary to compete in this game at a high level. And yeah, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know, it's in a weird spot. They've shot themselves in the foot on this one. I'm, I'm becoming bored with the game, becoming complacent with the game. And it shows, it shows on the channel. I haven't been uploading that much as far as Dragon Ball Fighters. If anything, there's news. I know the World Tour is back again for this year. So hopefully they can pick things up, but I just wanted to make a little update as far as my thoughts and opinions on Dragon Ball Fighters at the moment. It's very dull to me right now. I'm bored with it right now. I'm not hype about it right now at all. I'm not really uh, keen on jumping in and playing a lot of ranked play. It's just, man, it's just not not there for me right now. I'm, I'm, maybe some things to get me hype about it again as far as... But as for this video, that is going to be it. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. There's always much more content on the way and a whole lot more consistent content from here on out. I do promise you on that one. But I'll see y'all later.